In this video, I will walk you through the details of the Nutanix Big Cloud Fabric Hyperconverged Solution, which will help you understand the physical network automation and visibility benefits that BCF brings to the Nutanix Hyperconverged environment. Let me first start by showing you a diagram of the topology we'll be using for the demonstration. The setup includes a Nutanix cluster of three nodes managed by Nutanix Prism. Each of those nodes are connected to a pair of leaf switches, which in turn connect to a pair of spine switches in a cloth topology. The leaf spine cloth fabric of open networking switches is managed by a central pair of BCF controllers. The BCF controller also acts as a single point of integration with orchestration systems. The Nutanix Prism is connected to vCenter to drive the management of Nutanix EXXI nodes. The physical network automation and visibility is achieved by the BCF integration with vCenter. Now, let's take a look at Nutanix and see what we have configured. We see there are three Nutanix nodes, all running ESXi with version 6.5. We can also see the overall health of the cluster, utilization, and storage summary that are part of the hyperconverged environment. We can look specifically at the storage profile and see things like IOPS bandwidth, as well as any storage alerts. We can also see the details of provisioned data stores and usage. If we look at the inventory, we see three Nutanix nodes, 28, 29, and 30. Looking at the overall hardware status, we can see top utilization breakdown by Nutanix node for IOPS, bandwidth, memory, and CPU. As we go through the demo, you will see how Big Cloud Fabric provides visibility into these Nutanix nodes and its GUI environment. Now, looking at the Big Cloud Fabric controller GUI, let's see what our network topology looks like. We have two BCF controllers at the top, along with two spine switches, and three pairs of leaf switches. The dashboard also shows the health of controller nodes. The endpoints view shows the details about the endpoints connected to the fabric. In this endpoints table, if we search for Nutanix VMs, which are prefixed with the letters NT and X, we do not see any of those endpoints on the controller. None of the nodes have yet been discovered as fabric endpoints. The segments table lists all the network logical segments, essentially VLANs, configured in the fabric. As you can see, currently there are no segments configured. At present, BigCloud Fabric is not connected to VMware vCenter, and hence we do not see any virtual machine configurations exported to BigCloud Fabric. Nutanix is registered with vSphere, and we can now see on the vCenter that the VMs which reside on the three nodes of a Nutanix cluster. Three distributed port groups, two, three, and four, are also associated with the Nutanix cluster. Once BigCloud Fabric is connected to vCenter, these endpoints and segments will be configured and visible on BigCloud Fabric controller. Connecting BigCloud Fabric to vCenter involves just populating a few fields on BigCloud Fabric controller GUI. After populating the fields, we can now see that BCF controller is successfully connected with vCenter as shown in the connected and authenticated status. Let's take a look and see if our Nutanix hosts show up now. The fabric knew nothing about the host prior to connecting with vSphere, but now we see these hosts have dual uplinks and their interface groups are automatically created on Big Cloud Fabric. This is due to the integration Big Cloud Fabric has with vSphere and Nutanix. Now let's take a look and see if the Nutanix VM showed up. Looking at the endpoints table, we now see the NT and X VMs are learned, and we can get some basic information on those VMs from this view like the IP address, VLAN, and which Nutanix host the VM is running on. This information can be very helpful in troubleshooting. Next, let's take a look at the vSphere segments and see if they populated automatically based on what was configured in vSphere. We can see the Enterprise 2, 3, and 4 port groups from vSphere have now shown up automatically, which were previously non-existent on Big Cloud Fabric. To demonstrate the automation, I will create a new port group with a VLAN tag of 5, and we will see it automatically show up in Big Cloud Fabric. It will not be tied to any ports just yet, as there will be no Nutanix VMs using that port group. If we look at the segment itself, we see that there are no interface groups, which the Nutanix host would be connected to, to belong to the segment. And there are no endpoints learned under that segment, which is where we would see the Nutanix VMs. Now we will create a VM from the Nutanix Prism, which will reside on one of the Nutanix nodes. Now that the VM is powered on and is associated with the new port group, we refresh Big Cloud Fabric and see Nutanix node 30 has been added to the segment, and receiving new VLAN tag of 5. Refreshing the endpoints shows us the new VM that was learned and running on Nutanix node 30. Now watch as we vMotion this VM to Nutanix node number 29. After the vMotion is complete, we can refresh Big Cloud Fabric and see that Nutanix node number 30 is no longer part of the segment, and Nutanix node number 29 now belongs to the segment. Refreshing the endpoint also shows node number 29 as the place where we learned about the new VM. Let's say, as a network admin, you get a call that this new VM is not able to talk to an existing VM on another node. Here we have a tool called Test Path that shows the logical and physical path of two endpoints in the fabric, whether it be physical or virtual. If we have the new VM as a source and another VM as a destination, we can validate that the network is indeed configured to allow traffic between those two VMs. 
which is basically a trace route on steroids. This tool greatly simplifies troubleshooting and eliminates the need to log in and debug every CLI of a switch in the path and double check VLAN tags or ACLs, etc. Here you are looking at the exact path the traffic will take in the fabric from a logical perspective. And then below you will see the physical path the traffic takes between Ethernet ports, the source leaf to spine switches, and over to the ports and the destination leaf switch. BCF also has an analytics platform built into the controller, which provides a single pane of glass for visibility and troubleshooting. We capture VM events such as power state, vMotion, vNIC changes, etc. Here we will search for our Nutanix VM, NTNX VM5. If we look at the details of the recent events, we can see NTNX VM5 was vMotion to another host. Being able to quickly get these types of details provides great operational benefits and allows network admins to get unique fabric-wide visibility when troubleshooting issues. This concludes the demo of the solution, which offers complete physical network automation and network-wide visibility for Nutanix hyper-converged environment. If you are looking to get more hands-on, please visit our online labs by going to our website, bigswitch.com. Also, follow us on Twitter at BigSwitch. Thanks for watching and have a great week.